That's a big, big one. Big, big one. Great big one. <laughs> morning folks I know it's hard to see me I'm out here this morning uh, I'm heading back into a spot that I hunted the other day I saw about four squirrels in I got a good little hike back in here there's a couple of hickory trees stuff like that in this bottom so they say it's still pretty dark out I'm gonna try to get in there get the camera set up and all that and just sat under that tree and let the squirrels come to me this morning I hunted in here yesterday morning I actually did kill one squirrel I wasn't on camera it was right at first light um, he had seen me I was getting out of there I shot him and also today I'm hunting with a new 25 cow when it gets daylight today I'll show you all it's the Umer X Origin budget PCP uh, I love this thing to death uh, for the price you cannot beat it so anyway I'll catch you all when we get set down and see how the morning unfolds see y'all about 20 minutes after legal light I was watching four squirrels working their way to me but unfortunately I had a small buck come in to the right of the screen that y'all just seen and the squirrels was right there in the center of those trees. Long story short, deer scared them towards me and ended up coming right there at that tree, which was well in range. I just couldn't get the camera and all that on them in time. But I go into more of that at the end of the video, so y'all stay tuned.
He wasn't on camera, y'all, but man, I mean, I tried my best. Man, did I ever try. I held it on his head the last shot, so. We'll go check. There's the first one. Holy smokes. Look at the blood, dude. That tore him up. The GoPro SD card got full on me. Hopefully y'all can see me. It ended up getting full on me right before I make the shot or whatever on my way for the very last sink on him. And then he sees me because I clicked that button in on the bottom of the tripod. Takes off and I'm like, it's now or never. So I try to set y'all up. I don't know what I caught. I might have got him. I might have been zoomed out enough. But rightfully, it was now or never. Beautiful little headshot on him. Well, y'all, it's about 10 o'clock in the morning now. I ain't seen a squirrel since these last two here. It's been about an hour and a half ago. As I said, I was going to go up and sit down on this tree and see what, uh, come back in to it. But I'm just seeing if any more come in to eat. It's ended up being a big hickory tree is what I ended up shooting both of them out of this morning. Um, it seems to be what a lot of these squirrels are cutting on this morning. I actually went in first thing and got set up on uh, nut trees when I was in there hunting last week, me and my cousin. I saw a handful of squirrels back in there. I figured if I could get in, you know, right at light this morning and get set up on them, I could probably let them feed to me and shoot them. I'd say about 20 minutes after legal shooting light, a couple of them cut, start. I saw one moving down in the bottom. <clears throat> working his way slowly to me. He ended up going up in a big acorn tree for a few. And as I'm up in there watching him, I start seeing more and more trees shaking. You know, squirrels all coming that way. When they left the acorn tree, and as the, about the times they're leaving it, I have a deer come in behind me. It was a small buck. The GoPro's on at this point, so I'm hoping I caught it on GoPro for y'all. But this buck comes in and I'm thinking, man, if he spooks, he's going to spook these squirrels and it's over. You know, they're probably going to, I figured they were going to run back down over the hill. Well, I just try to set as still as possible and just chill. About that time, I'm guessing he got my thermals or saw me, one of the two. I was pretty much in the open. I mean, squirrel hunting, you don't need to be all tucked up into a tree, fully decked out in camo and stuff. I mean, it helps, but you don't have to. So either one of them happened. He turns around, he takes off bolting. But at this point, by the time he had did all this, the squirrels was almost in range. Actually, one of them was in range. I'll get that to that in a second. He takes off bolting down over the hill. The squirrels are here, deer's here, he goes out. I'm positioned here. Two of the squirrels go down the tree running and barking. And then these two start coming right at me. One comes down, I turn the camera on, I don't know if I got him or not, I might have him going back up the tree, but I turn the camera on, lean the gun across my knee, getting hit zoom on the camera, and then getting ready to take my shot. Well, he turns and goes back up and follows the other one. They work their way out and around the ridge. So I was like, well, if I set long enough, maybe the ones that hit the ground will come back eventually. That deer ran them things plumb out of the country. So I ended up getting up moving, that's when y'all, I give you a little update, I'm pretty sure made it to another area I wanted to just set and just kind of observe and see what all I could see. Ended up seeing one and that doe that I filmed, she still had just lost her spots. Um, she comes up, sees me, starts snorting, boom, she takes off. When she does, I see a squirrel over on this ridge above me, jumping. So I just kind of ease up, sneak my way across. And as I'm setting up against a tree, trying to wait and see if I can see him again, I look down on this bottom and right here in this big hickory, I could see branches moving. And then behind it, I could hear squirrels barking. And I'm like, all right, there's a boatload of them in this ravine down in here. So I get up on the flat and I could see two of them, these two. One was here, one was here on this side. They're both on each end of the hickory tree, you know, running back and forth, getting nuts. Here lately, I've been going directly after squirrels. For some reason, I've been waiting on them to start eating the nut instead of going after them while they're moving to get a nut. Don't wait on him to set and get a nut and then make a move on him. Move while he's moving. 
I'm telling you, it works way better that way. And I don't know, it took this morning for me to realize, what are you doing? This is the reason why you're spooking so many of them, because you, they're up there eating a nut. Granted, they might not have the best hearing, but their eyeballs are fine. They're looking. You know I mean? So, I just went back to my roots, what my dad taught me. Always move when they move. So, every time I'd see one of them going, I didn't care about the other one. As long as one was moving, whatever one was moving, that was the one I was going to get. So I came out, and instead of coming right at them, I took a long way around. There's a little trail that comes running through here. I said I'll be a lot quieter than all this debris. I mean, these woods are covered up in debris. I had lost both of them through the process of walking. Eventually, I see the one. He's in the fork of the tree, which is the one that almost got away. And then the other one, then the other squirrel pops out of nowhere. I mean, he's literally right above me. He starts going out this branch. So I just tilt the camera, I angle it right at the end of the branch, and I'm like, I'm going to stop him as soon as he gets to the end, and I'm going to shoot him. I get leaned into the tree, just, pay, I mean, just perfect as can be. He goes out to the end of the branch. He spins out once. I almost shoot him. He spins again. I do a little, and boom, he spins back across. Pow, I shoot him through the bottom of his chin, up through his head, down he went. This one almost ran out the tree. It scared him. And he kind of sat there for a second, and he come back down and got him another nut and start eating. You know, but you all know, I mean, you've seen a little bit of this footage, but long story short, this one is messing around in the tree, but he kept going on this perfect little branch. I couldn't get a shot. If I did, I'd be shooting him through the back, and this gun destroys him. It's 25 caliber. If you're going out in it with the intentions of body shooting a squirrel and thinking it's a pellet rifle and ain't going to do no damage, you'll be wrong. I'm telling you. You hit one of them in the leg and the shoulder blades, you might as well throw him in the trash because it's going to cut his shoulders clear in half. So I didn't want to shoot him through the back of the shoulders because I eat both sides of his shoulders and stuff. I was wanting a perfect headshot. So I moved the camera, get set down. As soon as I click the bottom of that stand, he bolts. I mean, just immediately takes off. So I'm trying to get the camera up. And finally, I just throw the camera up into the tree. Wasn't sure if he was going to go up or down. I didn't care. I pointed it that way and prayed for the best. And he came down, got right in that little fork of that tree. But in the heat of the moment, I just kind of threw the crosshairs across and shot and missed. And then for in my head, I'm thinking it's a bolt gun used to that little 22 caliber. I try to bolt it and it's a side lever gun. So to cock it, you pull this lever back and then forward, which is so much better than the bolt gun in my opinion. I love it. So I, you know, throw another one in. And then he gets up into the little fork and stops. I could see about chin line all the way down his body. And I just threw the crosshairs right on the right on his head, squeeze it, and down he went. Unfortunately my GoPro had froze up, but what y'all is missed leading up to this point is I've been calling to the squirrels, and as y'all can hear right now, them's the quarters that I'm scratching together, making it sound like another squirrel eating a nut, trying to get him to give me a shot in which he ended up doing. So I'm guessing I'm right at 60 yards right now, as y'all can hear, I'm dialing my scope up. I think I made about nine clicks up, which should have been 60 yards, and I took the shot. And this is how it turned out.
one down. Got another one right here. What a crazy, crazy morning. There's one right there, y'all. I'm gonna set it quiet and just see if he'll make a move. squirrel number two down that was about a 30 yard shot the other one was right around i'm guessing about 60 i put it on 50 and two clicks up from 50 and pretty sure i smacked him in the head so i still have a squirrel up in here that i spooked earlier i know he's still up in this big hickory and then back here i got another one so and then all across this hillside are squirrels i mean it's the first uh 50 degree day and that the squirrels just come out of nowhere this morning I mean this this is the best day I've seen since opening day so you know I had to hurry up and shoot him you can see the cameras right here I snuck up to this big hickory. He had already seen me. He started jumping across, turned the camera on. He came down that tree and I waited a couple seconds to get the gun. Lined up on his head and shot and down he went. Hopefully y'all could see him, I don't know. I'm, uh, I'm gonna be cooking some of these up today. And then this weekend, probably gonna put some on the grill and try a recipe I ain't tried yet oh, it's supposed to be super delicious so from what everyone's saying but I'm gonna try it there's another squirrel up in there there he is I was gonna say oh, I can see blood right here right there on that big leaf I'm thinking where's he at but he's just laying right there it's where he held upside down for a second Give him a couple taps right through the side of the head, right through his ear. Nice shot, real nice shot. Looks to be a big male. Mm. All right, y'all. I shot that one off that branch right there. He's laying right there in the creek. I don't know where I hit him. It was a poke, but. I'm sure I hit him right in the head. We're gonna take a look. Oh yeah, I can see it from here. He's leaking out the ear. Got him right in the side of the head. Ooh. Ooh, I better get off these logs. I'm gonna hurt myself. Grab him. Oh, yeah, he's been dead a while. There it is. Got him through the neck, come out the other side of his ear. At about, I was sitting clear back air on that bank. I'm gonna guess right around 65 yards. It's a poke. 
It ain't much for this 25 cal though. So I ended up just calling it a morning. I hunted a couple more trees, but didn't have no luck. Didn't see any squirrels. Figured with the sun coming up, it started to get hot out again. And it seems here lately when it's been hot, these squirrels just been going right back to the den trees. They've been hanging out for about two hours in the morning going in and then right there about two hours before dark um, in the evenings you'll see them out pretty good but I'm going first thing in the morning right back to the same spot I got an idea of what tree I want to get under and hopefully everything will work out and I can lay some more on the ground All right, y'all, we're in here this morning. I see two squirrels already. I got one on this ridge, one right here. Um, I'm sitting here trying to decide if I want to go just straight on down to this big hickory tree because I seen like four squirrels down there yesterday. That's where I shot three of them, three out of the four. I know there's still one more down there, but... Um, I can see one pretty pretty close to it right now, which is the one right here in front of me, popping around. I just ain't decided that's a big squirrel. This morning, my goal is to try to at least get something on film for y'all. I went over the last few days of footage and it's terrible. You know, I kind of think, sit back and think, I'm like, I could have filmed that. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. So. Anyways, I'm gonna try and do my best, but this squirrel right here is currently acting like he's gonna come into this tree. But one of them did the same thing yesterday morning, came across, and then stopped right there before he got to me. And it would appear that this one did the same thing. Got to that one tree and stopped. And I went over there yesterday, I'd never seen that squirrel ever again. So I don't know. But anyway, yeah, I'm gonna get up, I'm gonna move down this ridge, and I'm just gonna get in position. I should see two squirrels over there now. GoPro wasn't turned on <clears throat> again. So what I did is I unplugged the cord off of it. It seems like this cord's messing it up, being plugged in all the time. So I unplugged it till I hear it die, and then I'll plug it in or whatever. But uh, long story short, I had the squirrel come out. He was at 52 yards, and I'm zero for 30. I shoot twice and miss him, and you know what I mean? I'm thinking, what in the... And it hit me. The scope was, it's on 50 now, but I had the dial turned on 30. And by the time I cranked it up on 50, he went down the tree. I think some of this, this camera picked up what I was saying. I don't know. But man, oh man, I had two squirrels. There was some in these trees. Stuff like that. But 
this one went on the ground. I don't know where this one's at. I think it spooked him a little bit. So, swinging a miss to start the morning off. Y'all stay tuned. Let's see how this morning turns out. down. That's the other one, y'all, that I said I didn't know where it went. He's literally just sitting up there in the wide open the whole time. Well, as y'all can see, I'm back, currently editing the video, the one y'all just got done watching. Um, this last little squirrel I'm going to show you all, I could barely see the top of his head up in this tree, and the camera could barely get him. 
every time I try to shoot him, he'd make a move. Um, and eventually I just got impatient. So he ended up giving me a barely, he barely gave me a shot. And I went ahead and took it, missed him. But all together, I ended up shooting five times this morning at, I'm going to say, four different squirrels and ended up killing the one. I think in the morning, the very last one that I shot at, I ended up seeing three in that area. So in the morning, I'm looking forward to going back in there. I think if I can get in there before daylight, get set up on those trees, potentially get on the opposite side of the hill. I may be able to get a good shot up in the trees and if I can I should be able to pick three out of there easily unless I'm missing like I did today I mean I missed tons of squirrel I'm a right hand shooter and the one that came down that I called in using the quarters he had came down and got on that log and I was like positioned all sideways and I got excuses for days but I just pretty much missed but I'm just not that good of a shot with my left arm so I'm gonna blame it on that then the one, I didn't have my scope dialed up to 50. I thought I did for whatever reason. And was shooting at him at 30, so I kept shooting low. And then by the time I got it dialed to 50, he had just went down the tree and disappeared on me. All in all, it was a great morning this morning. I hope you all enjoyed the video out there. If you all did, make sure you hit the thumbs up button that gets me out there. If you haven't already, subscribe totally free. Just click the big red button that says subscribe. Turn on that little bell icon so you guys will get notified every time I upload. And with that, yeah, I'm going to be heading right back in there in the morning. And hopefully I can turn the tables on them because I got my butt whipped today. This is Hunt Fish How Outdoors. I'm your host, Trey. And I'll see you on another episode. Peace. I got him. I got him.